Well, hello everyone, and welcome to my laboratory. Um, I hope you can enjoy this video because we're going to show you an electric universe experiment. Uh, this is really cool. The wax is dripping off this candle, but uh, this is my lab, and um, you know I've been busy uh, working on it and stuff. Uh, I might have shown you a few pictures on Facebook, and um, and someone said, "Charlie, you're not a carpenter. What are you doing?" And well, you know, I had to do. Um, I had to build some of these tables to to do experiments with. Um, in this video, we're going to show that the the origin of Saturn's hexagon is a uh, a weather belt, which is uncertain where it, it where it lies. It, it keeps deviating and resonating between two different places. We'll show you what drives that using a good old plasma ball again. We're going to change the speed of a drill with a, a voltage regulator. Um, but first, I'll just give you a little tour of my lab. I'll show you what I've been doing. It, it's amazing. I'm going to show you the origin of weather belts as well, driven by an internal sun. Um, it's just so uh, fascinating. Um, so uh, I built a little chemistry table. I got some cool equipment. Uh, it's actually um, it's actually uh, made in England. It's it's really cool. Uh, Pyrex made in England. Um, yeah, like some of the stuff, you know, custom engraved and stuff. Look at that, 500 mils and. Look at that, that's amazing, incredible. Yeah, just, just buy in bulk, don't buy from, don't need to get from China. Because uh, I'm a chemist, uh, but I don't like doing chemistry, so that's just food dye. Uh, I wish it was more elaborate, but it's not. Um, and over here is my uh, Electric Universe section. And I've got um, reference books and logbooks um, of uh, engineering ideas. And um, yeah, even science experiments. Um, but the science experiments I want to do are not in anything, in, in different logbooks, uh, microscope, chemistry, alchemy, um, cool books. Yeah, the micro I love that book as a child. That book of science is amazing, that Osborne Book of Science. Yeah, it's, it's just incredible over here. Um, to get some more stuff, put the PowerPoint up there. Um, over here, shop facts. This is the thing, this is the thing you don't see in the movies. Um, you don't see in the movies that um, Frankenstein ever has tools. But you need tools for every experiment that you do. Let's say over here, to spin this wheel, which is what I'm going to show you in a moment, to spin this uh, plasma ball, uh, I had to create a jig. Um, so there's one jig, and here's another jig. Uh, on the bottom of this, which is attached to this, two screws through the bottom, a bolt through, and then that goes onto the drill. Uh, just pretty cool, and you never see that in the movies. You just see a complete laboratory, a few benches, but Frankenstein's laboratory in reality will be full of tools. I've got lots of uh, screws and bolts over here. Uh, you just need this kind of stuff, you know. It's it's really uh, it's really good, and and the clamps and all the other and the I'm going to make metal pyramids, spin the balls inside metal pyramids. It's just so cool. But anyway, let's get on to uh, the experiment. And it's just going to be so much fun. This is inspiration. If people built uh, wooden ships without any nails and things in ancient times, it's, you know, it's just absolutely incredible, isn't it, guys? But anyway, on to Plasma Universe, which is really interesting. I will do a Terra Preta experiments also. I've got the microscope. But yeah, Plasma Universe, um, just so fascinating. So I'm going to set this up. Um, it's just so fascinating. It's just so cool. By the way, uh, this, these lights are, are really nice up here. I got these these lights like this. Um, yeah, that, how good is that? Woo! Uh, but um, yeah, so when we, uh, I will show you how how these work. It's so cool. Um, remember what we said before? That's how an electric sun works. That's an electric sun in the middle. Now the good thing about a plasma ball is. Uh, before we were simulating um, Birkeland currents and how they light up stars and why stars away f uh, f further away from other stars will be more volatile. And I proved why. If you watch that video, you'll see. But this plasma ball can emulate, essentially, an internal sun. Because there is, uh, that is very much like a solar corona inside. And this can model the surface of the Earth. So it is an internal sun. And when we spin this at very high speeds, we see planetary belts forming. That's right. That's right. I saw planetary belts forming. Now, I don't know who gave me the idea to spin these at high speed. Someone told me something like this. Someone did an experiment 
but uh, they, they didn't they didn't come to this conclusion now currently this is like venus it's not spinning because venus doesn't spin now the essentially the, the, it, 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 there's a bit of static charge on it so one of the one of the bands is flipping around when we spin this we will see weather belts form we will see an arctic circle form and the weather belts will form as well and we'll kind of explain the hexagon on the top of saturn we'll see an equator we'll see tropics of capricorn and canca and arctic belts what i notice is the arctic belt it it, it deviates uh, quite a lot which is resonance and this would explain why saturn is resonating i said that saturn's ring is formed by resonance because when you have an unequal weight distribution in the spin you will you will get resonance and here we have essentially the generation of weather belts with an internal sun so let's get onto it i'll set this camera up better and we're going to have a look it's going to be so much fun So you wouldn't know it's summer by what I'm wearing. Hey, now we've got it nice and eerily spookily dim in here, which is great because we don't want it to be too bright. Um, so let's get started, yeah. So blokes and dolls, what we've got here is a setup where with these you can actually put um, batteries inside them. So that allows us to spin. Take out two screws, make a jig. I made a jig. Put the screws back in and uh, you'll have a, a great little setup and you spin that on a drill. And that is just so easy and anyway, I can do this experiment. I'm going to do a much more elaborate experiment as well. Now how this all hinges. The theory that the central sun creates the weather belts all hinges on whether or not Venus, which doesn't spin, has weather belts or not. Venus um, doesn't really seem to have belts in many photos. In other photos, it does. So, we have a conundrum. Are weather belts caused by the internal sun or are weather belts simply caused by something spinning in a spherical geometry and all the elements separate into something like the weather belts we see on earth on the sun and on every planet every planet has these weather belts so i'm going to spin this got the washer on there i'm going to put it in there and we'll see what happens right so i'm going to put that in there easy as
Yes, bye-bye.